Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Titanium Man Garage. This video today is going to be on replacing a rear wheel bearing. Uh, you ever ride your ATV, you notice the click, click, click noise? Usually your wheel bearing, if it isn't your axle. I already placed, replaced the axle shaft and I still get the click, clicking noise. I've jacked up the back end up and I was able to wiggle the, the rear wheel back and forth. So I'm going to go ahead take the hub off, take uh, I'll disassemble everything, and I'm going to show you how to press the wheel bearing out and put a brand new one in. So all you're going to need for this is half inch socket and wrench, 916 socket and wrench, and 5 eighths. And uh, so first things first, I already got the bolts off. Uh, remove your rear brake if you have one on that side. I'm going to go ahead and remove this. You might need all those pliers for that. Go ahead and pull this cotter pin out. There we go. And keep a track how many shims were there, and you're, you're able to pull this out. And now, what I like to do is I like to Loosen everything up in here just to get, uh, make sure everything's free. So I take my half inch. I'll go ahead and remove the bushing, the bolt, everything up here. Oops, right here. Five eighths on the bottom. 9 sixteenths on the top. Make sure you don't lose the washer. Keep that all together. I can remove this. This part up here. Now I'm going to remove the 9 sixteenths inch um, bolt and this is 5 eighths on the bottom. Pull this one off. And just grab this, pull that out. And if you haven't, make sure these are greased up when you put them back in. I already had taken this off once before, so everything's greased up. Alright, here you have it. This is the bearing. There is a C clip in there that I will take out and then I'll be able to whew, press that out from the inside. Alright, guys, so it keeps falling apart. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this C clip and then I'll be able to press that bearing out. Go ahead. Might need a screwdriver for that as well. There we go. Piece of cake. They also make a tool you can buy on, I've seen them on eBay, where you just slide it in there. It's got a grease zerk on it, and you can grease up your bearings that way. Uh, I haven't bought one yet, but uh, I'll show you what they look like. 
These bearings are only 35 bucks, so if you've got a press, I just replace them right away instead of greasing them up. And I'll show you how that's done. All right, and here's that tool I was telling you about. I guess it does just slide right over the shaft and you're able to grease the rear bearings and the front bearings. Like I said, I haven't bought one yet. I think I might pick one up, but it works out pretty slick from what I, what I hear on the forums. And here we go, we got it set up in the press. I'm just gonna pull this down, push the bearing up. Up the bottom. There you go. Make one one of these presses that uh, sit on a bench too. They're like 80 bucks, so not that expensive to do. I'll just uh, reverse what I've done and press the bearing back in. All right, it should be seated. All right, so I got the bearing pushed in. I got to put that snap ring back in. There you have it, one wheel bearing done.